Yeah, what he said. All right, you're listening to the Mad Science Show at www.shazizradio.com. Those of you listening in on radio, uh, we got a radio player app uh, update. And so if you go over to uh, the Super Chat chat room, let me sc- while I'm doing this, I'll just uh, get over here and um, basically, because uh, I'm sharing screen on there. Uh, do 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 do. All right. So, for those of you that's going to be watching this video later on Rumble, possibly YouTube, depending I don't say anything that I ain't supposed to say for YouTube, uh, you can click on this link right here and you can download the app for uh, on Google Play for our uh, updated uh, radio player. So, if you like listening to Mad Science and you want to hear it, you know, while you're driving down a road or something like that, there's an app for your phone right there. And so, moving right along, um, that's available there. I uh, titled today uh, today's show "All Seems Pointless," and it's just there's so much going on in this damn world. It, it's just so do- so doggone frustrating. You know, I, I'm gonna jump over here to to uh, YouTube Studio <laughs> on there. Don't think there's any uh, private information where somebody's gonna hack me or crap like that. It's no big deal anyway. I don't care. You can steal my identity if you want. Anyway, the uh, channel over there. Uh, it's got like nine thousand and ninety-five uh, supposed subscribers. The video views don't even remotely represent uh, that at all. Um, go down to the content portion of the deal. You can see that there's hardly any views for the most part all the way down, except for when you get to something crazy like uh, uh, R- Redneck uh, AC. It's got 2,134 views out of uh, supposed 9,000 subscribers. Why am I even telling you this there this deal right here? Um, it's just because uh, I started off on a mission a long time ago to try to do something cool for the world. So you know, I thought hey, you know I may put this uh, YouTube channel together and start sharing some stuff. And if you go all the way back through my videos, I got some crazy ones on there. I got some that uh, basically are designed to, to get you thinking outside the box. That's the key right there. You go down to, uh, let's go back over here to the dashboard real quick on this uh, deal. See right here, I got an active community guideline strike warning. Uh, It actually was a uh, strike at one point, and it's supposed to uh, come off after sometime this December. Anyway, it was it was both based on uh, bogus stuff. I basically lost uh, 66 videos off of my channel because uh, I couldn't trust them because basically YouTube was uh, going through and trying to strike me for everything under the sun. But they tried to say that it had egregious, uh, egregious medical disinformation, which was a bold faced lie. It's flat out bold faced lie. You, you can't call it egregious medical disinformation just for some guys sitting around having a conversation about what they believe is going on. Nobody was telling anybody any medical device, uh, medical advice, go get this or go get that. YouTube, YouTube lied. It's the, the, you can't trust YouTube. And I'm going to post this on YouTube. I'm going to basically say it. They say, they say that I, uh, I had egregious medical disinformation. It was a bold faced lie. YouTube support system sucks. Uh, it, it just it, it isn't what it used to be. That YouTube isn't nowhere near what it used to be. And so, you know, with that, you go over to my channel over here. Um, view channel on YouTube. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and view the channel on YouTube. Right, uh, right on the very front, it's got a video uh, that. Uh, talking about 
basically talking about helping the world. You know, talks about the bottle caps. Uh, well, basically, in that that first video, I explain that uh, you know a project that I'm working on in order to be able to you know basically turn trash into a solution. That project uh, seemed to be uh, was going pretty well, and then uh, I trusted somebody who literally turned around and stabbed me in the back and uh, basically ran off with 46% of uh, something that. Uh, was supposed to be there to help people out. And of course, uh, in his eyes, he don't think he did anything wrong, but uh, everybody in on the team, we were in agreement that uh, we was only going to get a hundred uh, or a million of these coins apiece for our research purposes and to, uh, you know, basically get this project going. But somebody had different different ideas and didn't have the honor to keep their word and and do what they said they were going to do so portion uh, at least portion of that particular project is on hold and trying to get anything done these days is almost impossible i'm trying to get uh you know a prototype uh, built there was two of them but uh, down to uh one <clears throat> anyway it's uh Part of part of the issues, I guess. But on this uh, on this dog on uh, YouTube channel, you can find all kinds of uh, old videos and even some ones that you might find controversial, like my 1318 series down there. It's a very interesting thing that has to do with uh, you know secret codes and things that uh, you just have to watch it. And if you ever had any questions, you can always ask me. Anyway. On, on this, I had a lot of different featured channels that uh, of people that uh, I used to uh, be able to hang out with and stuff like that. And uh, Sea Shepherd, that was with uh, Paul Watson. We actually had him on the Mad Science Show. When I find channels that uh, I like and I want to promote, I will put them in that featured channel list. And, uh, you know, hopefully new subscribers would see that and move moved into, uh, you know, maybe possibly subscribing to them or whatever. Anyway, um, getting off a of track here. Let me uh, go back to the channel deal. It's been a while. Um, basically, YouTube uh, called my channel inactive and uh, basically made it so that it can't be monetized. So my YouTube channel isn't making any money anymore wasn't really making much anyway. I never even really wanted to be monetized on YouTube, but I figured, you know, it's their platform. They're going to do it anyway, so why not throw a few pennies in the bucket? So I did it. But now you got to have uh, these what they call shorts, and you got to have 10 million uh, views on these shorts. <laughs> 10 million views. Uh, unless you find something that's going to go viral, there's no way you're going to get no 10 million. So they, they pretty much assured that there's no way that this channel could ever be monetized again. Um, your eligibility, if you got a thousand subscribers, uh, you you can uh, be monetized. I got 9,095 subscribers. You have to have 4,000 public watch hours. Apparently, I only got 737 uh, watch hours, which it's a it's a load of crap these people i swear they with their algorithms and the way they promote videos that they want promoted the little channels they don't have a snowball's chance in hell of ever even getting anywhere on there you know and so you're already you're already under the gun from youtube then you're under the gun from trolls then you're under the gun from people that you thought were your friend that turned around and uh basically stab you in the freaking back and uh, essentially, you got people out there that uh, will literally take advantage of you. And I've I found that out the hard way. I've, I'm a poor judge of character. I trusted individuals that I probably should not have trusted. You know, I've given money to people who never followed through on what they promised they were going to do. I've uh, supported people. Nick, I give. Uh, my supposed friend, a, a large portion of my old lab for he could have for research and 
I, I really trusted this guy. I, I really thought he was a good guy. And it really saddens my heart to find out that, uh, you know, once again, the old Shaz got duped. You know, now, don't get me wrong. He done a couple of cool things. You know, there, there's, some, there's some things that he did, and I'm not, not afraid to say it. Those weren't related to the bottle caps for Mad Science Project at all. Those were off, off the side. This bottle caps for Mad Science, all these projects are separate. You know, the project to help one individual out to give them a place to stay so that we could actually make it so that we could get this old lab up and running. If you go see my video, Forces of Darkness, um, somewhere, let me see if I just jump over here to content because it's down there somewhere. But it goes back in, in uh, quite a ways back. I got, because I got a lot of videos on there, but there's a video on here called Forces of Darkness. And you can see where my lab had flooded out. And uh, it's just been a god awful nightmare. So, wasn't able to do any work from there. So, I basically moved up into this place that I'm in right now, as far as it's a little one, one room. It's just not enough to to move around and get things done. Anyway, it's in there somewhere. There's a lot. There it is. Forces of Darkness. Let me, let me, uh, See if this is the one I'm thinking of. Let's see this. Uh, to do to do, come on. At least we don't have to. Plug your ears now for the next clip. It's probably going to be a loud clash or something. Ah. All right, we'll get it on there, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, that's good. This is my old lab that we're looking at right here. A lot of this, a uh, lot of stuff uh, in my old lab, I, I gave to my friend because I thought uh, thought him and I were on the same page, but found out this is uh, prior to the uh, to the crash. So um, let me see. Yeah, this is what my lab used to look like before it got flooded out. Just be nice. Anyway, um, I think uh, just had to sit here and watch this for a second. Had a lot of research going on. Uh, there we go. There's some mold damage there from the from the flood issue. There's the uh, yeah. There we go. Right there. You can see how it, it it was worse by the time it was all said and done. The, the, it just wasn't, uh, it couldn't be in there anymore. The uh, motorcycle, the electron, it got all rusted and corroded up. So this is one of the things behind the scenes that I was contending with. And, you know, it's just, <laughs> let's see, I can't remember what the heck this was all about. It might have been because there was a drought going on and the uh, ponds were all drying up. <laughs> yeah, so one minute it's uh, flooding for 40 days, it's raining for 40 days and 40 nights, and the next damn day, next time around, it uh, it's literally uh, middle of a freaking drought. This is crazy. I, I'm pretty sure I shared the screen. Yeah, I did. I shared the screen and sound. Anyway, you can see how dried up the ground was. It's cracked up, busted up. Man, we were losing trees left and right. We had uh, Japanese beetles coming in and eating off the leaves. We, we, were, we were being
All right, I don't know. You know, it's painful to watch. I don't know if you noticed in that video, but uh, I painted that entire room blue for a purpose because, uh, you know, back there in that time, people were doing things with blue screen and green screen and all that. And, you know, whenever I wanted to show something, if I, I have an anomaly that I want to share, I didn't want anybody to be able to say, oh, no, you're using blue screen or green screen. So, my other intentions were after I got all that done was to put uh, objects around that were green so that you could tell in the background if there was any chroma key or any blue screen stuff going on. And basically, you know, putting my money where my mouth is and bringing the receipts to the table kind of thing. You know, it's really painful to watch because here I am in the year 2023 and I believe this video was seven years ago. Seven years ago and things ain't got any better. They just continuously got worse. This video only got 522 views. 522 views out of supposed nine. It was at the time, it was probably close to 10,000 subscribers. You know, but YouTube shenanigans. I got a whole 23 thumbs up off of this thing. So weren't getting the views. Uh, you know, the only ones that got views were uh, things that I did uh, equated to redneck. So if you go on the uh, YouTube channel now, uh, da -da -da -da. I did a couple, um, did a couple videos here recently about redneck uh, stuff, whatever. Anyway, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Redneck how to. <laughs> it, it, it just seems like it, it, if you if you do something crazy, then I see I got redneck clackers. That was the latest video. Redneck pop gun, uh, redneck heater, redneck uh, AC update, and redneck AC. And uh, if you go down to my redneck wind turbine and uh, things like that. Those videos got a lot of views. Matter of fact, I think my redneck wind turbine uh, got the most views of all. It's like a couple million views on that thing. Anyway, uh, let me uh, take you over here to the super chat chat room. Three people in there. Of those three people, they're all me. Every last one of them's me. Um, on that, on that computer, and that computer. Let me see, let me just see if I can pull the camera out here and show you what it is I'm talking about. Let me shrink all this other stuff here for a second. All right, so my command center, I got uh, duct tape and bailing wire. There's a Windows XP running SAM. I got uh, this computer right here. Look at that, this the uh, time warp thing. I got this computer right here that I'm running Skype on. 
and I got uh, that one there so that I can see the uh, chat rooms and that one over there so I can see the chat room. So on any of these three computers right here, I can see I can see what's going on. You know, and I scan around the projects and stuff I got going on out here. Um, there's the neodymium magnet accelerator over my shoulder. And, you know, it is what it is, man. Put this back over here. So, let me get back over here. Let me shrink, uh, shrink this down. No, I don't need to shrink that. All right. Not getting any participation over here. Not getting any participation on that other one over there. And I'm positive a lot of some of that, some of that is, you know, my own damn fault from pissing people off or whatever. Other, other than that, a lot of it has to do with uh, Google uh, censorship. And let me show you something. Let's take you to my site. Uh, where's it at? All right, look at this. I signed up for AdSense program to put little Google ads on there and uh, they just completely vandalized my site. It's got ads after ads after ads on there. It looks like a damn ad farm. You know, this is, these are sites that I would avoid if I was going out to a website. <laughs> I, I could have, uh, and I still can, I, I can go take, um, I can go take the, um, I can shut AdSense off. It's not making any money anyway. It's only like pennies. It, it, it's not even pennies. So I think uh, in the last six, seven months, almost a year or whatever, it's uh, made probably about $23. And, you know, if I jump on my AdSense and I, I, I can show you, YouTube still literally owes me $67. Let me um, let me just do that. What the hell? AdSense. Hopefully there ain't no um, information that needs to be uh, concerned about private information anyway. AdSense right here. This is Google. Uh, this is YouTube. YouTube earnings. YouTube has owed me sixty-seven dollars and eighty-five cents for about three or four years now, maybe longer than that. I, I've lost track. But um, this is this is the maximum amount of money that I've made here on. Uh, let's see. Let's go to uh, last three months as opposed to this three months. That's it. That's it. For vandalizing my site, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. And so anyway, uh, on Shaziz.com, it has links to every single thing. If you want to go to Shaziz Radio, it's a take you right straight to the Super Chat chat room. If you want to go to uh, Shaziz.net, is uh, a lot of us. Uh, podcast over there there's podcast on shaziz radio and shaziz.net so i've been supplying a lot of content for a long time to everybody for free not trying to rip anybody off or screw anybody over you know it's just uh i don't know the forces of darkness i guess <laughs> meet the dream team it's me my brother this is uh, my friend that uh, basically stabbed me in the back and uh, basically destroyed, uh, well, not basically, he literally destroyed a large portion of the project and didn't have the honor and the decency to make it right. You know, I gave that, I gave that man uh, a large portion of my old lab Asked him if he wanted this, wants that, and all this. I basically gave him a lot of my old projects because I wanted them to be able to, you know, have some fun with them, test them, maybe do them some videos or whatever. And in this, uh, let me shrink this down. In this room here, I got a bunch of totes over there. I got a lot of uh, electronic stuff, uh, pro pieces for projects. Every time 
he'd come over if I if there's anything he needed for a project, I'd share it with him. And ask him for nothing. And so it's really heartbreaking that uh, he's going to screw me over the way he did. There's a lot of money invested in in all the stuff that I do. A hell of a lot of money invested in that, just that alone. And people wonder why I haven't finished it. I mean, what's the point? It's pointless. The, the, these people are trying to burn the world down. You know, trying to get us into World War Three. You got people in your own family stabbing you in the back. You got people in your in your friend circle stabbing you in the back. You give people money for materials, and they never they never follow through with what they say they're going to do. And so the bottle caps for Mad Science Project it goes way back, and it was you know I've been trying all the time to bring the the uh, dream team together, and literally uh, get these things accomplished. Yeah, my supposed friend tried to say that I single handedly destroyed a dream team. No, he he single handedly destroyed his portion of the dream team. Dream team's live and well. There's still a few people left on the dream team. Ones that really want to get things done. He just ain't part of it anymore. And he figured like he had to take a large portion of it out the door with him when he did. So he got what he wanted out of me. Yeah, got what he wanted and took off. It's all right, though. I'll, I'll get over it. Got over my lab flooding. You know, my old lab used to be out in the garage. Wished I could go back and uh, start start there again. That was that was the best one. And then uh, when we all moved up out of the Earth contact home and I turned that other side into my new lab, and then I'll be damned. Uh, the flood, the drought, weather basically destroyed it. And then, like I said, the police moved in. It was bad. It was real bad. But either way, moving right along. This is uh, this is Shaziz, uh, Shaziz.com. That, that that costs money to have that website going. Shazizradio.com, where the super chat chat room is. There's four chat rooms over there. And when you come to this chat room from the outside, your browser is say not secure. It's a lie. Bold face lie. Pay for a secured certificate. But people say there's things on there like uh, this advertisement right here for an old church I used to go to. There's nothing wrong with that church. And even if you go to there, they got a uh, they got a doggone uh, secure, secured certificate on on their deal. And the chat rooms from Chat Tango, those are uh, those are uh, got a, a secured certificate on there. It's an HTTPS site, and we don't gather up any information on anybody. We're not tr we're not trying to uh, load any kind of malware or anything like that or any spyware. We don't even. Shaziz Radio, Shaziz.net, and Shaziz.com, we don't even collect any information on anybody. We're not trying to get any kind of data whatsoever. And so, you know, there's three sites. Three sites that are literally uh, being paid for out of my own personal pocket, out of my own personal funds. See this doggone stuff right here? This is... Uh, <laughs> This is Shaziz.net. They vandalized the crap out of it. And you see, it's not worth it. Pennies, pennies on the, uh, that's it. Nothing. And it, and it, and it just, it just turned my, my site into crap. There's my ride home right there. I can't wait. Anyway, um, it just turned my site into crap. You go down here to, uh, um, I'm going to go down here to uh, Wall of Shame real quick. Because right there is the story. Right there is basically what, what happened with that portion right there. That's why it's on hold. And I hope the person that, uh, that one right there, I hope that person sees it. I, ho I hope they see it. Didn't have the honor or the decency to, to uh, do the right thing. 
instead want to play games and uh, basically destroy somebody's uh, life's work. Really, really aggravates the piss out of me. I'm not happy about that at all. If you go on the uh, show podcast, and it'll literally uh, have uh, tons and tons of uh, information. Like they, they don't like Trump. I don't care if they don't like Trump. I, I don't like the fact that uh, somebody could be censored. Somebody could be told to, to uh, they can't be heard. Uh, the medical stuff, uh, you know, the, everything that was censored, uh, like this right here. I put the video out here so that people could hear it. You need to hear both sides of the story, not just YouTube's version, not just uh, doggone uh, Facebook or Twitter's version. Here's one where I was like really extremely upset. You, you want to hear what kind of human I am? You want the truth? You know, if it, if it makes you happy to see somebody feel sad, go watch that video. You know? It's these things like this right here. I'm trying to make our world better. That's, that's, that's the whole purpose. I'm trying to find those that want to make our world better. There's podcast after podcast after podcast on here. All free content shared with everybody. No charge. But keep in mind, none of this is free. Absolutely none of it's free. You know, for me, it costs it cost me a lot of money to do what I do. And we're talking three websites plus high-speed internet, and I've got two separate high-speed internet accounts. That's what it takes to keep all this running. And so when you get in, when you get in there and you see that there ain't nobody in the chat room, it's disappointing. When you get over there and see uh, on the other side, you have to start thinking, okay, did I really, am I really that bad? Have I really offended that many people that I can't even get a few people in there to at least cuss me out while I'm trying to do a show? Kind of like my friend going in there under anonymous names just to aggravate the host of the show while we're live on air. And my other friend decides to come in and, and tell everybody to go to hell. You know? So, I surrounded my myself with people that I thought was of like minds that I, I, I thought I could trust, only to find out down the line. You, you'll find out. You'll know them by their fruits. You'll find out who's your friends and who's ain't. I never, never uh, intended on doing anybody wrong. You know, um, you can find me on Facebook. It says there's 5,000 uh, friends on Facebook, and I can guarantee out of those 5,000 friends, are a bunch of scammers that want to scam me and facebook is nothing more than spyware nasty nasty girls you name it i don't like all that stuff you know i've reported so much crap on facebook it ain't even funny i'm just so sick and tired of of all the the, the filth and dis disgust i would have deleted it a long time ago with it with exception as uh you know, I can try to advertise uh, on here and other people can find my, uh, this is two, two separate links to my uh, app so that you can listen to the radio on there. And then when I do shows on Rumble or on the, uh, the radio or whatever videos on YouTube, then I can post them on here and people can see that, you know, there's some new content out. And you get over here on Twitter and Twitter is just as bad. Let's see how many... Uh, I got supposedly 301 followers and I'm following 479 on uh, Twitter and Twitter's just another another uh, free advertisement platform as far as I'm concerned because you, you, you put your political views out there and people don't like it or, uh, you know, they basically censor you, you know, and I can jump over here. Uh, Let's go over here to Shaziz Coin. Made this uh, Twitter over here for uh, for the project, so that we could keep people up to date on with what was going on. 
Uh, let's go to that. He's two followers, <laughs> and uh, pretty sure both of them are me. I don't know. Let's see. You don't have any verified followers yet. <laughs> anyway, that's pitiful. That's on uh, that right there. And mostly I get things like this right here. People trying to uh, get me into some crypto scam or something like that. So that's pointless. And I'm actually on um, tel Telegram and Gab. But once again, those are pointless as well. It's not about trying to get attention. For the most part, you know, I was trying to get people, giving people information to, to help them out on things. Anyway, if you go over to Rumble, I got a whole 20, whopping 24 followers on there, some of which are me, uh, two or at least are me, I think. And uh, there's where all of our uh, videos for um, what you're hearing right now when I'm doing a Skype video and I, I, I send that it over to uh, to Rumble because they don't censor like uh, YouTube does. YouTube's real garbage. And they uh, they don't care about their uh, their content providers at all, period. They they'll they'll sit there and, and try to convince you that they do, but they don't. They literally don't. And and they, they screw you over. Uh, monetarily they'll screw you over um, they censor they'll screw you over that way they'll uh, demonetize your platform completely they don't agree with you then whatever and now they got it set up so that a guy like me and my little tiny channel could never ever get monetized again there's no way I'd have to I'd have to do something really bizarre and get 10 million views and then be able to maintain that 10 million views on those little stupid shorts that I don't even do because I don't have a phone that has that capability and there's supposedly some way that you can make them on, uh, uh, let me shrink this down for a second, some, some way or another you can supposedly make them on the computer but it, it's, it's just not worth it. So, you know, I don't have one of those damn iPhones, those things that the kids all run around sliding. And, fingers across all damn day long and have one of those i don't even want one of those either way you got to hold it up vertical in order to to make one of those uh, shorts and it can only be 60 seconds long what the hell are you going to do for 60 seconds <laughs> you know whatever anyway so where are we at pretty much explained uh and there's like there's quite a few videos on on uh, YouTube. If you go all the way back to my fir very first video, is a little stupid video called Black Eye, and uh, basically it was just testing testing the damn uh, equipment to see if I could even get a video up and what it would all entail. There's some pretty cool uh, old videos on there. The uh, 1318 series is uh, interesting. It has to do with, uh, you know, a code that's built into a clock. I don't want to get into it in this video. It's just, it's, it's really wild. And I don't know. I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff. I wonder what this one here is. I don't even remember what this one is. It's got a Shaziz radio logo on it.
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that got a whole two hundred and seventy nine views and eighteen likes. Huh. Trying to get people to come use the, the the tools, you know, use the uh, the site kind of thing. It's 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 pointless, you know. It's it, all this takes participation. There's there's so much. Forces of darkness. We already been down that one. Um. Energy. Do 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 do. I don't know, man. Um, it's just a lot. Put things, uh, put things on there. Funny things. Uh, I don't even know what that one is right there. Oh, yeah, that's probably uh, me and my friend playing some music. He actually didn't hear me uh, play uh, play the drums in one, and take uh, one old older video and playing the guitar in. So it's like a real people's channel, man. You know, with a little bit of uh, a, lot, a lot of science and interesting stuff. This is one video. I don't even know if I have it uh, public right now, but this is a video where I was talking about where uh, the last uh, person that destroyed the uh, the dream team literally uh, had somebody talk about executing me, trying to kill me. <laughs> That I need to be executed. Um, so, and I even did it. I even did a video for that particular friend, so he could come from Australia to visit me. You know, I took uh, two of these people in in my house and fed them dinner and was real nice to them and you know tried to help them out, only to turn around and be stabbed in the freaking back. Here's another special message. I don't know what this one is about. So I've been at it for a while, folks. He's trying to do something good. I don't know if you can tell in this, but this uh, particular video right here, um, it's right around about the time I had to get a lot of teeth yanked out. And so I'm talking kind of funny in that video. Um, a lot of trials and tribulations. But either way, I was even offering for people to be able to play their own personal music, their own garage bands on Shaziz Radio for free. You know, go back and listen to and, and see the consistency of everything that I kept freaking saying the whole damn time. Never was trying to do anybody wrong. You know?
We go to 8 to 11, so we're doing a three-hour show now. But either way, this was nine freaking years ago, man. Nine years ago, and, and I was trying to be cool to people. I've never been trying to screw nobody over. You know, this, that's, why, that's why all this stuff is frustrating as hell. You know, forces of darkness, my damn uh, freaking uh, lab got flooded out. Now, I'm, getting, I'm not getting support from the outside. You know, every once in a while, I, I have a few friends that come along and help out a little bit or something like that. And I, I never even have to ask them to do that. And then I made those, uh, those coins up, you know, that I keep showing everybody. Turn the coin into a membership coin. Because I, want, I, did, I wanted people to have something. You know, I didn't want to take without giving. You know, there's, uh, like I said, there's a lot of videos on there. A whole life story on there. I had a friend of mine who was a cabinet maker. I made this doggone boat, and this boat probably weighs five, ten pounds. It's a big chunk of wood. It floats, but I was going to make a, a big pop-pop boat out of it. And, and it'll move, but it barely moves because the damn thing is ten tons. Anyway, uh, all over through this, uh, there's all kinds of videos on here. I suppose the best way you could support me would be to go watch some of these old videos. You know, get my watch views up. Of course, at this stage of the game, it might just be pointless. You know, I got, uh, there's a lot of them on there. Anyway. You can subscribe over there at Rumble if you want, or on YouTube. You know, go over and say hi on Twitter, Facebook. You know, all these social media platforms to me is becoming just literally pointless. It's I don't know why. Why am I even showing you all this kind of stuff? It's hard to say. I just wanted you to understand that. Uh, Behind the scenes, I don't just talk about it. I'm out there trying to put videos together for everybody. I'm trying to give people a uh, platform to, to uh, join in on. It's easy. If you want to get on the Mad Science Show, just call me up on Skype. I'll throw you in the show. Just don't drop the F-bomb and the S-bomb on me. I appreciate it. You know? And you want to join the Knights of the Round Table? Come on there, tell us your point of view. You, you're not going to agree with what I got to uh, I got to say. I guarantee you that. But uh, you might, may or may not. But either way, I'm not going to discount you because I don't agree with you. I might not like your politics or maybe your uh, point of view doesn't match mine. But that's how we uh, have a communication together. We can agree to get, disagree in a respectful manner. We don't got to get on there and belittle one another. We don't got to get in the chat room under anonymous names and, uh, you know, agitate the host and thinking it's funny, laughing on there. It's all documented. It's, uh, it's on the video. You can hear me getting frustrated because somebody in the chat room mouthing off. And all along is this particular character right here in the chat room behind the scenes just trying to start trouble. 
So with the world as it is, government's being corrupt. You can't trust the executive, legislative, or the judicial branch of government. You can't trust uh, Google. You can't trust YouTube. You can't trust Twitter. You can't trust freaking Facebook. You can't trust any of the social media platforms. The only one at this point in time that'll let you uh, pretty much say, uh, for the most part, what we were saying that wasn't wrong anyway, uh, is is Rumble. So I, I support Rumble because at least they give you a voice. You know, and I hope they succeed. I hope they overtake YouTube. You know, you get on here and there's a lot of links, a lot of time. Stephen Gibbons uh, resource page, you know. You click on click on that and I'll just go ahead and do it. What the heck? It's gonna there's a, a audio that's gonna play on here, I'm sure. But either way, he's got website, YouTube's uh, link. Anyway, if you want to hear the rest of that, go on Stephen Gibbons' resource page. But he, he spent a lot of time putting all these links together. You know, go support him and at least go say hi to him in the chat room and thank him for his effort. You know, and that's another thing, too. I literally give somebody a free page on the site. I give you full control over that page. You, you have your own, own uh, page on this site. You know... I ain't got no problem doing that. And, you know, so with that said, um, I'm providing a, uh, a service for people. I'm paying for it myself. Now, if you go on, um, go on the Super Chat chat room, there's a donation button on there, but I don't promote it, you know? And nobody's used it for ever in a day. So it's really not that big of a deal. I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get money off of people. If I go over to uh, let me see, let's go here. Support our research. This uh, will give you information about uh, bottle caps for Mad Science. Uh, the Shaziz coin that uh, I made. I even ask it everybody. I need to. I need to raise funds to research alternative energy. I ask them if that was a fair price and and put a little poll down there. To uh, do you think this is a fair price a proposal to for a fundraiser? And you can go down there and answer that deal on there. And so, you know, I wasn't trying to do anybody wrong. You know, these mugs right here. These things cost me like initially they were costing eleven something, but then the price went up and it was like twelve something, and then it would cost me the same as it the same that a paper mug is what it cost me to ship it. That is, if I'm shipping in the states, if I'm shipping overseas, it would cost a hell of a lot more. So in order for me to sell this mug, I'd have to sell this mug for twenty five or thirty dollars. You know, and. I, I can't I can't justify selling somebody a damn coffee mug for twenty five thirty dollars, and that's just a break even. That's not to 
that's not to make any money. So if it costs me, let's say $12 to make the mug and it costs me $12 to ship it, that's $24. So in order to make any money off that, I'd have to sell it for $30. And I wouldn't buy a mug for $30. Wouldn't expect anybody to buy a mug for $30. I would rather you get that mug at cost at worst case scenario. But it's a it's a lose situation financially for me. So I lose money just by giving stuff away. You know, I, I, these uh, coins right here, there's only 200 of them in existence. As I'm going down the, uh, you know, uh, in in uh, public or whatever, and I see someone that start talking to about mad science because it's got the uh, website on the back of there, I, I, I give it away to special people that I meet. You know, we have a conversation and, and something about them inspires me. I'll literally give them one of those coins. It's a membership coin. You know? And I know one really nice lady that uh, she bought a whole bunch of them. She probably got 10 or 20 of them at least. You know? And I still, to this day, I'm still in the red as far as how much money that I spent on even having these things made. You know, you go on down, um, I can't remember if I got anything else on there. Uh, had the coffee mugs. Uh, oh, I had, some, I had some bumper stickers somewhere around, you know, basically trying to, to, trying to get, sell the bumper stickers for a couple bucks, you know, whatever. I wouldn't spend five or ten dollars for a damn sticker. Wouldn't expect anybody else to either. So my point is, I'm just not trying to. Uh, I'm not trying to screw nobody over. You want to support me? Come over and visit this website. It's some uh, videos that we're going to be po we're going to post up on there. And I basically took a few sections out. You know, people that weren't using it or whatever. And so I guess it is what it is. Uh, growing domes, that was um, uh, the geek, the guy that, uh, dang it, I can't even remember his name now. Anyway, there's his number, David, the son of the guy who designed the geek reactor. He does domes. I give them free advertisement. I give everybody free advertisement. I give everybody uh, a free platform to come and socialize with each other. I tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. You know, you want to see videos that uh, have, have been, uh, you know, basically blocked, and I, I find a video, I will put it up there. I put a review up here of the people, Lifetime Solar, that screwed me over on my uh, solar panels. This lady over here was talking. Uh, I said, it's, it's refreshing to finally hear the truth. Thank, thank you for this video. I, I, want, I want to highlight people that do good things. That's what it's all about. You know, I put a lot of... A lot of interesting stuff on here, and I put a lot of a lot of work into uh, doing what it is that I do. But when I get up in the morning, like I got up this morning, today's show's been really short, and I'll be out here within the next uh, probably ten minutes because I'm uh, eight a.m. to eleven a.m. Probably could go longer, but uh, what's the point? Um, Three hours a day. I, I I got up this morning and I was just in a awkward mood and feeling terrible about life. You know, it, it, I just everything felt pointless. It all felt pointless. I said, why why even get up and go do a radio show anymore? What's the point? Why well, get out here and work on this land? You know, I, I got this land for my kids and. I got it to uh, basically build something cool to share with the world. Get out there and work my butt off. 
clearing land and trying to make trails for people to go on nature hikes. I get people on the phone. I talk to them about things like uh, foraging and uh, projects that have to do with science and, and nature. Inviting people to come together and do things. And uh, it only takes one knucklehead to get in the mix and damage it. And they see all the drama going on in there. And then they got the nerve to turn around and say they're tired of all the drama. There wasn't no drama till Chris came in there and started all his crap. Wasn't no drama until he got in the chat room and started agitating. And if he's mad at me, that's so so be it. it. You at least have the courage to tell me why you're mad at me, why you were mad at me to begin with. Somebody gets on my show, cusses me out, and then you come and you talk to me like a dog. And then to top it all off, then turn around and, and walk off with 64% more than what you're due. Let me make sure I got that number right because I don't want to be misquoted. Uh, let me make sure. 46%. Yeah, that was it, 46%, excuse me. Walk away, walking away with 46% more of this project than you were due was wrong, plain and simple. And you didn't keep your word. You have absolutely no honor. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you did. Anyway, it is what it is. I'll get thumbs down on this video. I don't care. I get thumbs down all the time. Every time I try to do something good, I get kicked in the ass. That's why I get frustrated. So I don't need trolls. I don't need wise guys in the chat room that are there specifically to agitate and laugh in your face as they're on the show with you. He knew what he was doing when he was doing it. I wasn't the only one he was agitating. But whatever. 9,095 subscribers on YouTube, 5,000 fake friends on Facebook, a couple hundred fake friends on Twitter. You can put a tweet out there and the tweet should at very least uh, instigate somebody cussing you out because they don't like your political, but nobody's seeing what you're seeing. You're, you're, you're sending it out and very few people even see. It's like uh, if you get on uh, YouTube, uh, you go to any YouTube channel and it'll have the uh, like and the dislike. They, they block the dislike because uh, everybody like Biden and all the leftists uh, we're getting thumbed down so bad it wasn't funny. They call it being racialed. But uh, they wanted to hide this section because they wanted to uh, make it look like they had a popular deal going on when in, in fact they didn't. Uh, right here, you got to click this bell if you want to get notifications. If you don't click that bell, then you don't get notifications. You'll never even know that I even did a video. And that's the same thing that uh, Facebook is doing behind the scenes. You you think you're sending this out to a lot of people. You say, okay, I got 5,000 friends. 5,000 people are going to see this. You're lucky if five or 10 people see that. You get over on uh, Twitter, same doggone thing. They banned me, uh, shadow banned me on Twitter before Elon Musk took over. And I'm still shadow banned to this very freaking day. I get one person commenting on my stuff for the most part. One, one guy liking my stuff, All right? Right here, Pat, uh, Cone, Cone Electric. That's, that's my friend on uh, on Twitter. Loyal, loyal friend. You know, that's pretty doggone cool. He likes my stuff. And so, that's it. That's where we're at. Just trying to, you know, with this video, give you a little bit of understanding. I've been down a freaking hard ass road. And I, I keep I keep on pushing forward, trying to get something. Something accomplished. 
need to move that over. Back to the super chat chat room. All right, I'm going to stop sharing screen now. Firm, stop sharing. Oh, by the way, this over here, this is me. It's a computer at the other place because in order to be able to record on Skype, you have to have somebody in the room with you at all times. And if nobody shows up, then I can't get a video out for the day. So I want to get an audio out for the people at, uh, you know, peopleforpeople.ning.com and shazizradio.com. So I do a podcast. And so when I get off of uh, the radio show, I spend another couple hours uh, uploading content and then I'll go around and I'll share the links to everybody who was on the show, everybody who's involved, people who missed out on the show. I'll put links in uh, peopleforpeople.ning.com. I'll put links over here in uh, shazizradio.com. I'll put them on Facebook, Twitter. If the video is all right, I'll put it on YouTube. If it has any kind of copyrighted content, it can't go on YouTube or Rumble or whatever. And so normally these videos I've been uploading to Rumble because I want to make sure, number one, there ain't no copyrighted on, on the, the video. Um, but uh, Rumble will let you a little, a little more lenient as far as what you can say without getting your damn video censored or taken down. YouTube has just become like freaking communist uh, censorship. I despise YouTube for what they've done. It used to be a really good platform. Not anymore. It's a terrible platform. So anyway, it is what it is. So I'm basically in a Skype call with myself <laughs> in order to record this video. I'll get off here, I'll save the video, I'll download it, and then I'll uh, re-upload it to all these different platforms. And then that way you get the free content. This one here is just basically an explanation of what the hell I've been up to, what it was all about to begin with, the, the channel, you know, uh, trying to share things about uh, alternative energy and, and, you know, solutions for what's going on in the world. There, there is so much that we could be doing, but it takes people of like minds coming together. That's what the dream team was all about. I'm not going to let one scumbag destroy the dream team. You know, the dream team's still going. You want to try to say I single-handedly did it. He did it. He did it behind the scenes, uh, monkeying around, coming in anonymous. He did it on his way out the door when he ran off with 46% of something that he wasn't due. And don't give me the crap about he paid for it kind of crap right there. As a trusted member, you know, it was all in that pot together. You know, I would let that man hold my wallet if he was part of the team. I would literally let him hold my wallet with all my money in it. That's how much trust I had. But, you know, once you leave and you say you ain't going to be part of it again, and then you don't keep your word and put it back into the pot, you didn't just screw me and the team players. You screwed all those little kids out there that could have literally at some point took one of these bottle caps and put it in that machine and, and started making money. You, could, you screwed the little kids in third world countries for your greed. That's what you did. You screwed little kids in third world countries. A little kid over there in Africa, a little kid here in the United States could put the same doggone thing in one of those machines and get the same uh, value all the way across here. So what's that 46%? That's all uh, 46 uh, billion. There's 100 billion of those coins in existence. There's 46 billion possible little kids out there that you screwed over because you wanted to be greedy. You could have took the 1 million coins that you was given as a as a, a member of the team, and you literally could have uh, made uh, enough money to fund your lab. We could have made enough money to fund all of our labs, and we could have done it fairly. But that uh, you didn't have you didn't have the decency to do the right thing. You lied to me, and you stole from the team. So now you're on the hall of the wall of shame. Make it right, and I'll take you off the wall of shame. Damn, it's damn disgusting. Breaks my heart. 
this was this was this is for the kids this was for their future to help clean this world up this was for everybody who kept on complaining about this being a problem we had a solution we were going to make it happen and i thought we were on the right track i'm still going to finish out my prototype and if anybody wants to get down to who owes who what i'll give you exact numbers of how much i paid in I'll make sure that you know on uh, projects that weren't related to the bottle caps mad science uh, what this person did, uh, you know, on the plus to help another person out to give them a place to stay and all three of us a, a place to work. That's a separate separate incident. This is a standalone project. And so that's why I'm upset about it. Anybody doesn't uh, understand that and needs a better explanation, sit down, we'll have a talk, and I'll explain it in graphic detail. You, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, not what you're getting from the other side. Literally, there's kids out there that could have benefited from this. You ripped them off. Hope you're proud of yourself. So anyway, between the trolls and the shenanigans, this is what I've been up to. Spent a hell of a lot of time, a hell of a lot of money, a hell of a lot of effort, a lot of my life. If you go back and you see my my hair, I'm a slightly younger man. You can see me from a young man all the way up to an old man. You can watch me deteriorate through my entire life. My whole life is in them videos. My whole life is in them uh, podcasts. If you want to make a movie about the craziest man that ever walked the face of the earth, I give you plenty of content. I even offered and I even allowed people to go out and make their own channels and use my content to literally make them money so that they could benefit. So who screwed who? Anyway, I'm going to give us a peace sign up out over here for Rumble, and I'm not even going to play uh, anything on the way out of here, I don't think. Yeah, maybe I will because it's not going to be on the video, so it's not going to be an issue. So let me just find something before I get up out of here. And, um, you know, it's just it's aggravating, folks. It's just damn aggravating. I think I've been really good to people. Damn it, where's it at? And uh, it all seems pointless. That's what I'm, where's where I'm at? It all just seems freaking point, pointless. And I have no idea what I want to play upon out of here. So I just throw this in there. Anyway, it is what it is. Peace up out over here with Rumble. I'm going to stop this recording. And uh, peace and love to everybody who did jump in there and listen in. Share it or don't.